Hey, good morning, everybody, and welcome to the vlog. I hope the start of your day is absolutely incredible. Yesterday was almost 60 degrees outside. Today, it's like 20 degrees and we had an ice storm. So uh, the good news is that means there could be some good breeding when it comes to the python. So let's get over to the shop and just see what's going on. And as always, there's always that thing that says it's more an art than a science when it comes to breeding reptiles. Basically went through almost the majority of the animals. And uh, again, no real breeding going on. Anything significant. I think there was like four locks so far. So uh, it's kind of a bummer, I thought for sure that because of that low pressure front and the storm front and stuff like that looks like we have a little bit of cording going on here so I'll just go ahead and leave those guys alone check the last few things but what happens sometimes is the front side of a low system is what really spurs them on so it's the the drop of the barometric pressure once the barometric pressure is actually dropped sometimes it can go the other way so I really thought we'd come and have 12 15 18 locks today looks like we have maybe four or five at the most but hey I'm not complaining still awesome that we have a few more we're moving along but uh again every time I think I've got things figured out, you know, I realize I don't. How absolutely insane is that, right guys? Of course, this is just a UV or black light that's shining down on a scorpion. It's crazy how these things glow. Now, basically what's happening here is that there's a chemical, that fluorescence, that's in the hyaline layer, which is kind of in the cuticle of the actual scorpion itself. Now, the interesting thing about the hyaline layer is that this chemical is unbelievably long lasting. Not only does it fluorescence like this, but believe it or not, it can last millions of years scientists actually have found scorpion fossils where the cuticle itself that outer layer is gone it's just a fossil but yet the chemical in the hyaline layer still fluorescence how crazy is that after millions of years I mean that is just absolutely crazy I'm look at that I could play with this all day long and I was actually inspired when I was out at NERD and they showed me a black light flashlight just like this one right here now interestingly enough when we got back from NERD guess what this just showed up. So I'm assuming that someone at Nerd sent us this, so thank you for that. We're gonna check out some stuff under black light. Uh -huh. I hope it shows up on the camera because it doesn't really yeah, show up. This is kind of like your, a what a cow looks right? like under your regular lighting, right? Mm -hmm. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our UV black light and shine it on here. We'll shut the lights off real quick and see if we can get a look at it under the black light. Take a look at this. Take a look at all oh the different gosh, colors that show up. And you can see all there. sorts of spots that you can't see under the regular light. Really cool okay. albino girl. And take a look at wow. all that crazy wow. color that pops when you look at it under the UV black light. So th this is me and Jeremy the other night at one o'clock in the morning running yeah. around the facility with this black light just shining on everything trying to see what shows up the coolest. This is your standard albino piebald ball python. So, you know, you can see a little bit of that patterning there, but it's got the white patches on it. Yep. All right, can we hit the lights? Take a look at it under the black light. Oh my gosh. Whoa. What? Check that out. That is out. ridiculous. That you wouldn't be able to see under your regular lighting. How oh cool is that? God. So now I'm just going through it with the look, flashlight. R-I-C, Rick. Ah, this is the Rick ball. That's a Rick ball. Jeez, Morty. Wow, that's a, that's a Rick ball right there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna kind of play around with the black light a little bit with some of our snakes now after seeing what Nerd did. This is actually an Asian forest scorpion setup right here. The first one I showed you was actually an African emperor that's really cool and really tame, but I can never find this little guy. So I think I'm gonna go around and just see if I can find him with this black light. And this is how you would actually find him in the wild. You can take these out into the desert and they luminesce just like this. And oh, there it is. Look at that little monkey right here. Now these guys are not nearly as friendly as the, the African emperor scorpions for sure. And the thing that's interesting is that scientists don't really know exactly why they have that fluorescence. They think that there's a chance it could potentially protect them from the sun. Maybe they use that to kind of identify with one another or even the chances that maybe it wards off predators. I mean, who knows? Regardless, Mother Nature is incredible. And look at this guy. You see, as soon as I come near it, its claws are up. It's if I put my hand near that, it's going to sting me for sure. But what an incredible animal. I tell you what. I, Mother Nature is amazing. So let's just find a couple other snakes or other reptiles that maybe this can be. I'm not going to get any work done, guys. I'm going to be playing with this all day. That's domestic abuse. That was domestic. <laughs> it's on camera. We've got, oh, this is uh, a girl she laid? Yeah, oh so this gosh. is one of our uh, Dracula line ones, I oh guess, from gosh. Tiki Sketchup. She is so yeah. pretty. Oh my gosh, that Tiki, that Tiki. 
The Tiki's Dracula line and Deadpool line is amazing. Of course, we're still waiting on Deadpool. So excited that we have some more eggs from this guy. So let's see what we've got. Hope the fertile. They look good, huh? Or well, what do you well, think? Eh, they they don't look as good as her first one, but okay. this one looks like it's fertile. Like you can kind of okay. see the pink in there. Okay. Yeah, the other one looks a little oh, yeah. bit goofy, but. These are her first eggs, so they look a little bit more oh, yeah. calcified. Oh, yeah. Those look really yeah. good. Yeah, yeah. I'll set them in here anyway, and we'll see what happens with them. Yep. Uh, it's her first year, so this sometimes happens where they won't all be like yeah. good. Well, hopefully we'll see what happens. The first two look really good. Again, unbelievable. That red line is amazing. Got some really good stuff coming up. Deadpool hopefully will be soon. Uh, fingers crossed. That's the one I'm going to freak out about. I know. I feel like she's teasing us. She'll sit in her <laughs> box and then not lay. <laughs> well, hopefully we'll keep you guys posted. More gecko eggs, yeah, right? So these are our... Um, these are cave geckos, but they're a different locality than the, the common kind that we right. carry. Uh, I don't know their how to say their scientific name. It's gotcha. really long. Is this, this is the female. smaller? Yeah, they're a little bit smaller. Uh, I got the male in here. Yeah, and they don't have all that orange in them. They're more like reticulated. They're like real busy yeah, pattern. They don't have as, yeah, they're a little bit lighter in the color. Yeah. And then their eyes are a little more orangey than red. They're really cool. I like but them a lot. I'm so the, sure are these the first eggs we've got? Or? Uh, last year we produced some. Okay, this will be our first eggs this year, though. Okay, cool. Cool, awesome. Let's hope so, that they're good. Oh, there's one. There's one right there. These oh, are yeah, huge really, for her, aren't they? Oh, they look monstrous for that little girl. Look <laughs> at how so small little. she is. That is amazing. Oh my God, that is so cool. So, uh, and they look really fertile, really good. Yeah, so that's awesome. Perfect, so yeah, that's awesome. Perfect. Yeah, it's awesome. That's so exciting. That's super exciting. Yeah, listen, say Irish wristwatch. Okay. Five times fast. Irish wristwatch. Irish wristwatch. Irish wish. Irish wristwatch. Irish wristwatch. Irish wristwatch. I can't do it. Irish wristwatch. Irish wristwatch. Irish. Irish wristwatch. You ready? Yeah. Irish wristwatch. Irish wristwatch. Irish wristwatch. Irish wristwatch. Irish wristwatch. Wow, that's good. I think it's my listexia. <laughs> Get it? I'm definitely having a good time with my new toy. And it's pretty cool just walking around with this black light, looking at all of the baby ball pythons. There's some pretty amazing things. Take a look at this right here. This is actually the banana super chocolate. Oh my gosh. I thought this thing was purple and beautiful in normal light. You get the black light and who doggy, that thing is gorgeous. And then this one here is actually a banana NG Cine pinstripe that thing is ridiculous i don't i could just sit here all day just looking at these colors on these animals and actually with white snakes sometimes you can see pattern that you won't be able to see without a black light this is the pastel camo banana ball python you could start to see even a couple little black frecks starting to come out right there with the banana gene you get that black freckling but you can't see it with the light on and then of course that camo pattern completely comes out under the black light Whereas the lights are on, you can really not even see pattern on this one. This one, uh, if we had a black light, this would be the Barney Ball Python. Let's take a look at what a black light will do to an albino black pastel. Whoa, doggy, are you kidding me right now? That snake is crazy. Oh my gosh. That, that, that blew me away. That is absolutely ridiculous. Hope you guys know by now that we started a podcast called Checking In. Tonight, actually, 5 o'clock-ish Eastern Standard Time, we're going to have Max Strong on, guy that's really cool with a bunch of animals like lions and all kinds of stuff. We're going to talk to him about that. Of course, Lori and Noah will be with me too. So again, check out the link in the description. I'll pin a comment. Join us tonight live uh, for probably an hour, maybe even two hours. Who knows? I don't know. Podcast, please subscribe over there as well. We really appreciate it. I'll see you there. Lori? How are you? Fine, why? <laughs> How's your mood? I don't know, tired. Is this a good time to talk or no? Probably not if you want something. Well, I, I want to at least talk to something. Will you be level-headed if I ask you something? Or is this just terrible time? Uh, I don't know, do I need wine? Yeah, do, should we talk after <laughs> No, I've got, I've got an idea in an animal for the new Reptarium that I really would like to do. But Ghost I think sloth. You, no, no, no okay. it's, not, it's a reptile, it's a Reptarium. <laughs> it's a Reptarium. But it is a, rep, it, is a, it is a reptile, and I think that you probably won't be supportive. It, but will you listen to me and hear me out? Is it another retic? 
Will you listen and hear me? No. <laughs> I will not listen if it's another reticulated python. So it's not just a normal another of reticulated not. python. Of course not. No, so listen to me. Listen. You know, I you know, people like big snakes and when they come in it's very wowing to, for mm -hmm. people to have big snakes, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, we obviously we have some really nice we've got Perdita, we've got some other things like that, but we don't have a big retic that's nice. A big, a big retic, a nice big retic, right? We've got Lucy, which is awesome, but no one can play with her. And obviously, Daisy isn't great about handling and stuff like that because she just hates to be handled. So I've got a friend that has a really large retic, and I think it would be a really good addition to the Reptarium. Now, listen, this is what I'm saying: it's bigger than Lucy, larger than Lucy. It's just a, a pretty. It's called a blonde. It's a pretty normalish looking retic, but like a lighter. And, but it's like 21 foot and over 200 pounds. That and doesn't I've actually, make any sense. That's what? not an animal you could even bring out anyway. It's no, you could big. bring it out. You okay, totally so four, five, seven people at a time no, bring like, it out? No, like, like two that's... people could bring it out and then people could be around it. It would be really cool. I just think that it would be a showstopper and something that would be nice to add to the Reptarium. Will you consider it? Where is that going to go? So this is what I was thinking. I was going to probably move Sunrise to the new place because she's got a really large enclosure right now and we've got some large enclosures. So that way we can, you know, draw people to the new section so we, you know, we can kind of dissipate. And then we have that large enclosure that that's almost the size of Lucy's enclosure that we could put this big snake in. And it would be easy access to be right next to Lucy, be really easy to access it. It's lower on the lower level, and it's just a huge snake. I don't want you, you don't have to give me an answer. Just just think about it, okay? Okay. Are, are we okay? So the answer's not no yet, right? I'm, yeah, I'm not saying anything. <laughs> all right, so I just wanted to bring it up to you. We'll talk more later, all right? Okay. We'll have some wine first. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, thank you, bye. If that albino black pastel look crazy, this is actually a candino that already has a lot of purple. So let's see what it has. Oh, interestingly enough, the purple kind of turns whitish looking. This one uh, was underwhelming, whereas the other one was overwhelming. I really thought that the purple in these guys would super pop. Uh, weirdly enough, it kind of turns more of a whitish color, but uh, still nonetheless, beautiful pattern. The albinos definitely pop with the black light. I mentioned earlier that the leucistics under black light, you could actually see some pattern to it. Now you can certainly see this is a pure white snake, but look at all of that kind of freckling that's happening there. That means there's some other mutations in this. This isn't just a super fire. This is definitely a super fire and something else. Looks like it might even be like a pewter, like a pastel and a cinnamon. You can see that patterning makes it really cool. And then look at that dot right there on the side. Really interesting how, again, under black light, these guys can just shine and you can see right through to the pattern. And then here's another blue-eyed Lucy, but look at that. Oh my gosh, there is a lot of pattern on that. There's dorsal kind of dotting, dashing, and then these white splotches in it. No idea what the mutation is here, but certainly there's something else besides just blue-eyed leucistic because that's got a tremendous amount of color. And that's the thing, if you ever have a blue-eyed Lucy and you wanna know if there's other genetics, oftentimes you could just take a black light like this and see. So let's say you had a blue-eyed leucistic pinstripe, you could see the pinstripe pattern you'd know. In this case, not sure exactly what the mutation is, but certainly some Something else is going on here. I'll tell you what, you probably saved a bunch of money not getting them at Disneyland, right? They don't Disney sell World? them anymore. Really? What? No, no. no I guess most cars oh, don't come with antennas. Oh, so now they don't sell them. So I yeah, them that's true. I think this guy was yeah, because it's not the forties anymore. Yeah, nineteen thirty. Dory guy lost her in the car wash last No. no. <laughs> Maybe she, she went was, back down the drain and is she, in the ocean again. She she was ready to retire. She was missing an eye. I'm sure. Rough, so I'm sure. It's been a couple years. That's awesome. <laughs> I want to go to Disney World. I've literally been down here for hours. I think I've looked at every single snake in all of these racks, just kind of playing with this. It's crazy. This is a pastel vanilla bamboo woma. And look at the colors coming through on that thing. Again, I'm kind of surprised. There's been some animals that I've looked at that I thought were gonna be really cold. I was a little disappointed. And then other animals like this that are on 
unbelievable. I mean, just all the pattern and contrast that you don't see under normal light. Uh, again, eventually I'm gonna have to get some work done today, guys, but uh, I'm having a blast down here. I'm gonna try this actually as a Candino that has a little bit more purple coming through already, and oh my gosh, yeah. That's a lot different than that first one that just kind of turned white, isn't it? Wow, and look at the head pattern on it too. Oh my gosh, that is crazy. Wow, that, now that is a purple snake right there. That was what I was expecting with the first one we did, but it just kind of turned white, whereas this one is unbelievably purple. Oh my gosh, if I could just make a snake that looked like this all the time. Back to another Blue-Eyed Lucy, but this is a Super Russo, so I'm anxious to see, oh my gosh, I was really anxious to see what the pattern is, and there's a lot of it with these Super Russos. Again, this is a pure white snake under a normal light. It's just crazy that when you just have a different spectrum, how it can change, you can see all of that pattern in it. Wow, I'm blown away. I'm, I'm having a blast, man. <laughs> All right, guys, uh, I definitely do have to get back to work, but this was so much fun. I don't know who sent this. I think it was the guys from Nerd, so thank you if you guys did. And if it wasn't, whoever did, uh, this is the best gift ever. Uh, if you ever have someone on your gift list that you want to get something for, a black light like this will keep them occupied forever. So, uh, okay, I got to get back to work. Let me know what you guys think. Some crazy stuff with that black light. If you enjoyed this video, can you subscribe to the podcast channel right over here? Here's a playlist that you can watch a whole bunch of videos if you so choose. Over here, you can hit that subscribe button. Please turn the post notifications on. Remember to have a wonderful day and be kind to someone. I promise I'll see you guys tomorrow.